Yo guys, welcome back to Musbrew. Uh, th- this is Angel. I got Marlon here with me. Hey, what's up, guys? So today we're gonna bring you some news uh, related to health, right? Yeah. Why is that? Well, well, for the for starters, we have here uh, Phil Heath, and uh, he just uploaded a video on, uh, on 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 his YouTube, and he's back in the gym. Yeah, after a few months, uh, I didn't know this news. Maybe it's all news. I'm sure. But supposedly he had a, a CV pneumonia. I don't want to say the name. Yeah. Had pneumonia and uh, he was hospitalized for, for a week and uh, he went down on weight to 225 and it was pretty rough for him. So he finally is, is going back to the gym. So let's l- listen to uh, some of the video, okay? It, it, says, it says it just at the beginning. All right. It's uh, approaching 8 p.m. Getting ready to go to the gym, do some arms. Uh, getting myself back in the gym after <laughs> a bout with COVID pneumonia a couple months back, where I was actually I was actually hospitalized for a week. And man, my weight went down all the way down to 225, and I hadn't been 225 pounds. I want to say 2007, 2008. So it was so. It's crazy. He lost a lot of weight, and he has not been that uh, in that weight since a long time ago, twelve yeah. years. Yeah. And no, uh, actually, no, yeah, yeah, around twelve, thirteen years. Yeah. So it's tough. I bet everybody's having trouble with the, whatever is going on right now, right? But it's a good news, I believe. It's bad news and good news at the same time, you know. Yeah. Bad that he 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 went through that, and good that he's now coming back to the gym and, and healthy. Yeah, well, actually, uh, you know, speaking about that topic, actually, guys, right, right here we have uh, Kenny Ko, and uh, he said something very interesting. I mean, I, this is not really bodybuilding news that much. I mean, it kind of is, it has but to do with health. yeah, you know, it, yeah, it has to do with health. For so, going on right now in the bodybuilding world. yeah, so uh, Kenny Ko, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, it's actually uh, pretty good. I've, we've been watching it for you know many years now. Um, go over it and check it out. He, uh, he, he brought a video where uh, he's saying, you know, that maybe there's a correlation between some of the, you know, uh, mis- that yeah, right misfortunes that have been going on in bodybuilding, scary. you know, with some, some of them passing away. Yes. And, I mean, he doesn't really say exactly, you know, he got, kind of gives, you know, the fans, uh, you know, a hint of what he's trying to say. We don't and, say it either, yeah. but uh, we want to put a little bit of the video, maybe you will understand what he means, okay? So let's, let's put it. And once I started to look at the full picture, we're talking George Peterson, Luke, recently Sean Roden, and then almost Kelly Muscle with his heart attack. There's something that all of these guys had in common that, no, it's not what you're probably thinking right off the top of your head, right? It's not the anabolics. But it's a hypothesis I want to put out there, and I'm not going to be allowed to say it in this video, but I'm sure you guys will be able to piece it together as you watch. So of course we know anabolic. So we don't we don't want to put the whole video. We don't, we, we don't want to spoil the video for you. So if, if you guys want to know what he's his his, uh, his opinion on his take on on the topic, just just go and watch the video. But he literally says that uh, there's a lot of correlations or things that's been going on since what 2020. Yeah. And uh, maybe it could be whatever's going on right now could be the the cause of what's uh, going on with the bodybuilding world related to their heart. And uh, he mentions uh, a few names, but, uh, you know, I don't know, it's just uh, something to, to also give it a thought is that Luke Sandow passed away on the May, on May, yeah. um, 2020. Yeah, by yeah. that time, we've not had what is going on right now. Yeah, yeah but by that time, um, I mean, it was at the heart of it, yeah, but because yeah, it, it kind of started, I think, around March or something like that. But, um, you know, I'm not sure if he's... Because, I mean, Kenny Kill really gives you, uh, Kenny gives you the, uh, you have to, you know, basically mention what, what you think that he's saying. Uh, it kind of, he kind of hinted at the Big C Little V jab, but, I mean, Luke Sandow wasn't there, you know, during that time. There, there was no, uh, there was no, not, no vaccine or anything like that during that time. So, if anything, it was maybe just, you know, the Big C Little V. I mean, could it be the same thing? Um, I don't know, you know, that's, we're not really saying any of those things, you know, we're just kind of speculating at what Kenny is really saying in the video, you guys can go check it out, you know, maybe, 
you know, maybe you guys can speculate on what he's actually saying about your this. conclusions. Yeah, right? yeah. Right. But it's unfortunate. And uh, do you think there's some correlations to it? I think I, I think I'm going to speculate. I'm, I don't want to say yes, but I don't want to say no, you know. Yeah, um, so especially legal, yeah, especially you know. how hot both of these topics are, you know, death yeah. and death and bodybuilding and uh, and and you know, big C little V. Big C little V, yeah, something thing, something that we cannot talk about really openly here on YouTube. But uh, hopefully this gets solved. And we get a hopefully this stops, right? We don't want any more deaths in bodybuilding. Yeah, and, and it's fortunate whatever is going on right now in the world. So another uh, topic or so. Another news, yeah, yeah, was uh, also about health, but uh, about, uh, for an accident, right? Yeah, it was, it was an accident. So what happened here? So uh, Muhammad uh, El Imam, he uh, he had a car accident, right. and I mean, it looks like he's uh, you know he's 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 doing better than than worse. So it looks like he's he's all right, but you know, but he's not gonna be uh, be able to compete in the next six months. Not compete, maybe not not go to the gym, right? Yeah, like to work well, out yeah, yeah, months, yeah, my yeah, bad. You know, work out and all that. Mm -hmm. Maybe what a year, you know, just maybe a year. Yeah, yeah, Competition. most likely. Yeah, he's gonna be. I'm pretty sure, you know, as soon as these guys go back in the gym, they start building that tissue very, very quickly. Most but likely. I mean, that's still six months that you know he's not. He's gonna be out of the game completely. Yeah, now you're gonna start playing the, the catch up. Yeah, you know? now you gotta catch up. And it's hard. I bet it's hard. But uh, we wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, he says he has many injuries in different places in his body. So he's alive, that's good. So hopefully he gets back into the gym. Yeah. Six months. Injury free. Injury free. Yeah. yeah. Gym, no pains. And back to the competition, back to the stage. So anything else you want to add to the video? No, no, man, I'm good. Okay, so this is it, guys, for, this is it, guys, for today. Hope you guys like it. Uh, leave a like and comment. Please subscribe. It's free. And, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.